Since it opened its doors 25 years ago, the North Lakeland Discovery Center has provided educational opportunities for nature enthusiasts. And soon the program will have more space for learning. Newswatch 12's Matt Weaver visited the construction site and joins us now in studio with more. Matt? Yeah, well, that's right, Jess. And for their second part of the capital campaign, originally a smaller space was used to connect nature to vis visitors of the Discovery Center. Now construction on a new nature center is underway. There is the most dynamic aspect of our new... There's lots of work to be done yet. We've done a lot already. This is a culmination of a 25-year-old dream. The North Lakeland Discovery Center is entering a new era. The land was always there, but our facility has grown over time. To now have this new nature center that's literally 10 times bigger than that other one is so much more to explore and to see. Phase two of their project, adding a new nature center, is well underway. It's been a feverish pace of building and construction because at the same time that they're putting up and erecting the walls and the exterior of this, we're also furnishing the inside of it with exciting exhibits in the nature center. The facility will be open year-round. Now we will be able to really have a dynamic center to increase the amount of educational opportunities that we have. We'll have more dynamic resources to be able to educate um, the population. Nature in the classroom will be put together. And there'll be plenty of animal tracks for the kids to follow along and try to identify. And so it'll be kind of a, an interactive piece. The classrooms that we have for people to come and learn about the environment and appreciate the North Woods. I mean, most of us live here because we choose to, not because we have to and this builds that appreciation. It's a project that was completely funded privately by generous donors. We're very proud of that, to be, to be valued by those community members. That meant the world to us to know that, and we're so happy to give back to them with this facility. Construction is expected to wrap up in early January, and that's just in time for them to furnish the exhibits before their grand opening in May.